Hey everyone, I'm your host, Ariel Grace, and this is it, the first episode of Backstage at ReggaeReport.com. February 2008 was Reggae Month in Jamaica. Part of the celebration included the first Reggae Academy Awards held in the capital city of Kingston. This is the first of a three-part series featuring nominees, presenters, performers, winners, and award show organizers. Before the show, M. Peggy Quattro caught up with two of Jamaica's top singers, Shereen Anderson and Chris Kelly. Here's MPQ with Chris Kelly to talk about her nomination for Best Reggae Video. Reggae, reggae video. video. Yes, I'm and so And that excited. is for the song We're, We're Missing You, the you. tribute that I wrote. Tell it's us like, a little bit about it. Well, that song, you know, it's kind of, it touches my heart. It's really a very special song. You know, I wrote it for a friend of mine who actually passed away suddenly. At the time, I was 17 years old, and I was so young, never experienced death with someone so close to me. So, I mean, I said, you know what? I'm a singer. I love to sing. I actually wrote that song, he died six years ago, and it took me that long to actually put pen to paper. So it's not a song dwelling on what happened, it's basically a song trying to help you move on. And it's been good because a lot of people can relate to it, because of course everybody has lost someone close to them, whether family or friend. So rest in peace, Jeffrey, who passed on, you know? So how do you feel about being part of the first Reggae Academy Oh Awards? gosh, this is lovely. I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to the whole experience being there. I mean, it's going to be fantastic. But to actually be nominated, I'm so excited. And I don't know, a lot of artists say this. I'm just so thankful to be nominated. But it's really such a good feeling to be appreciated for all the hard work that you've put out. Big up to Double K team as well, who had a lot to do with the video. Big up to the director, Asha, as well. So, I mean, don't matter what the outcome is, whether I win or not, you know, basically, I'm happy for everybody because I'm actually going up against some really really good videos you know like Morgan Heritage, Taurus Riley, I Octane so big up to everybody nominated. Well, that's wonderful. But of course I want to win too. Yeah. <laughs> MPQ also spoke with nominee and award show performer Shireen Anderson. It's a pleasure. Welcome to Jamaica. Welcome to Kingston. Thank you. Thank you. You've written songs for yourself as well as for other renowned artists like Bootsy Collins and Maxi Priest. So tell us, where does the inspiration for your songs come from? What are your themes? My themes range everything from like a Kingston state of mind. Like I grew up in the inner city of Jamaica, so it was easy to just look around and see how many friends have lost the political warfare and violence and dealing with the political inequities of Jamaica. So Kingston State of Mind deals with that. Then there's a song called How Many More, which will probably be on my album. It's looking at not just how many lives have we lost in Jamaica, but how many lives have we lost in the war? Because I also studied in America and I studied in Japan, so I try to absorb as much of the culture and just how everyday people live and how they're affected by what's going on around them. And at the same time, I do like a good love, which is celebrating love, love with you and that special someone, or love for the world. It's just coming over tonight, also addresses stuff like that. But I am in my 20s, I enjoy partying and having fun, and there are songs like Cookie that are more club oriented so we could get up and dance, a Jamaica funk, like, I, it, I do it all. It's just wherever my mood is, wherever my vibe is at the moment, that's what I kind of pull. Let's see who MPQ met up with at the venue for the Reggae Academy Awards just moments before the show. Greetings reggae fans, here we are from the first Reggae Academy Awards and I'm here with my beautiful friend, Diana King. Hello Diana. Hi Peggy, long time. Long time, it's so good to see you. Yes, same here. Yes, can you give us a little bit about what Diana King's been up to? Well, I've actually, been, this is my, I'm very excited because I'm producing my own CD. Wonderful. And it's, it's going to be a double CD with um, all the different elements of Diana for all my fans because you know I have all different types of fans reggae dance music R&B slash reggae so I wanted to do a little something for every one of them and I'm very excited as I said it's my own production first are you producing it in South Florida or where I am at home 
Yeah, I'm doing it at home and it's taking a little longer than normal, but I don't mind because it feels very good doing it. Are, have you written all the songs? Yep, apart from the covers, because you know I love, there are so many songs that I wish I wrote. So, um, like the one I'm doing tonight is a cover of Nina Simone. Yeah, and the title is? Feeling Good. Feeling Good, and yeah. I'm sure you're going to have everyone feeling good, because that is who Diana King is. It's so great to see you. We wish you all the best. Can your fans expect to see you on tour anything this year? The most definitely. Um, I was I was telling, well, I was talking to a friend um, before this, and I was saying, you know, I've toured Asia and Europe, and I haven't been in the Caribbean much for years, and I feel really bad about that, the Caribbean and also America. So... I'm going to definitely dedicate a lot of my time to making sure that my fans in those areas, my original fans from Jamaica and the Caribbean, see more of me. That's great, and we want to, and you've heard it, you heard it here first, backstage, at reggaereport.com. Yes. Thank you, dude. You're welcome. <laughs> Greetings, and this is M. Peggy Quattro, and here we are with Nadine Sutherland. Yeah. I'm excited because she's my longtime friend and I'm just <laughs> exhilarated to see her. That's right, and I am just as excited yeah. and I'm happy to see you here. How do you feel about being part of the first Reggae Academy I'm Awards? I'm totally excited. You have been around and you have seen several award shows and just this seemed to be hoping that this will be the authentic ones that people can aspire to get you know, an award from this. There have been um, Rockers, there was the, Ta was it the Tamika Awards, South Florida. There's so many award shows that came. Some of them still there. But, but this I'm one you're voted for by your peers. Definitely voted for by your peers, and it's pretty exciting. And let's see what we can do. That's right. Now, I understand you're a presenter. I am a presenter. Actually, I think I'm presenting the first award, you know, Peggy. Okay. Yes, the first award. And do we know what that is? Uh, I think it's the Breakthrough Artist for the Year. Oh, great. But I'm not too sure who's going to win. I'll find that out then. <laughs> And tell us what's happening with Nadine. Oh, I know you album, have a wonderful, my great album. My album is incredible. Call my name. I mean, it's just growing from strength to strength. I didn't get nominated in this award, but I know I got nominated in the Canadian Reggae Music Awards oh, for International Reggae Album of the Year, which is pretty exciting for me. So I am going up to see if I win. But even if I don't win, I'm very excited because this project was a project that I stepped out and I did. So it, was, it, it really articulates my own voice. When you say you did, what, you produced it? You wrote the songs? I wrote most of the song and I collaborated with it. 876 records. This is a pretty exciting, yeah. pretty excited hour. Well, there you go. You yeah. heard it first right here on Backstage yeah. at ReggaeReport.com. So stick around. We've got more coming probably from Nadine too. Definitely. And Peggy is the bomb. <laughs> there you have it. The first episode of Backstage at ReggaeReport.com. We'll see you next time with actual award show coverage. Thank you for joining us. And make sure to tell your friends to meet you here. Backstage at ReggaeReport.com. <laughs>